Hey, morning folks. A um, bit more decorating, lights, you know, the stuff. Hey, all action. You know, when it, you've seen the one where I plastered the ceiling, yeah, it really, there's parts where it doesn't look great. Like most of it. Anyway, let's see what we can do. Let's see if we can transform this space and start getting it to look good. Oh, by the way, you know, we took the doors off. We've not heard anything from the guy who took them away. And it was really weird because he took our doors, put them in the back of a van with loads of doors and how the hell he identifies who's a who's. I have absolutely no idea. For anyone that's thinking, what the hell is he doing? You know, scraping away at the walls. Well, it's because the ceiling, if you watch that episode again, the ceiling was awful. It's my worst bit of plastering by a country mile. And I was so knackered at the end of it that I knew I could have gone round and spent another 20 minutes, 20 minutes just getting rid of the damp plaster that had kind of come down onto the wall and I knew by ignoring it it was going to give me another job and I knew it was going to I was going to regret it but I was knackered I was cream crackered after doing that ceiling because it was it was horrible so now I am reaping the whirlwind in terms of having to clean off the walls and I thought it might come off a bit easier. I was hoping it would come off a bit easier than it is, but it isn't. So it's taking me a while. It's, it's a warm day. I am sweating buckets, which would be useful actually, because I need a few more buckets thinking about it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go round, get it all done, and then cut in and give everywhere uh, a go. Remember, I'm doing the tiles. I'm going to be putting up the tiles that kind of divided opinion. I think we need to see what they look like in place before we hasten to judge. Because, yeah, let me tell you, when I, I was first shown them and I burst out laughing, uh, that's not the response that the interior designer expected. I had to say I was laughing about something else. Um, and obviously this is a really good thing. Tiles, tiles down the bottom, paint basically everywhere else. This bit, crappy pipe corner, I'm going to try and build out a box here somehow. Going to, try, going to try and build one out somehow to sort of hide it. Whether that is just a low level sort of box and the boiler sits proud, I don't know. I don't know. But that's so far off at the moment or it feels like so far off. Anyway, let's just have a look at what's on my list because I'm about to I'm about to paint over it, you know, fairly soon. I haven't done that. Not really. No. No. I haven't done that. That one sort of. No, I haven't done that. End panels, I haven't done that. Upstands, I haven't done that. Tiles, I haven't done that. Paint, maybe. Skim ceiling. There we are, number 13, tick. Entrance mat depth. No, I haven't done that really. I need to take a picture of those because some of those are actually quite useful. Or I could just paint over it and ignore it. I'll take a picture. 
all right, I'll take a picture and I'll delete the picture. Anyway, back to the bloody scraping. And I wondered why my arms were knackered yesterday. Now, I've not done any research, got any empirical studies, seen any peer-to-peer -peer reviews. I'm just going on a gut feeling that ingesting plus the dust, breathing it in and all the rest of it, is not right clever. Yeah, it's hot today. I'm hot. It's taking ages. But they always say proper planning and preparation prevents piss poor performance. I think... I think I'd just go with the three P's. P, poor performance, yeah. I think <laughs> the rest of it, ah, take it or leave it, that's what I reckon. Anyway, I'm gonna have a brew, do the final little fiddly bit around there, and then, uh, I don't know, get a paintbrush out or something. Oh, God, I'm goosed, I'm absolutely goosed. Oh, now that I may have mentioned that I'm going to be going away for a few days uh, and I might sort of do one whilst I'm away as well because uh, I'm going over to France to do a tour of World War One and World War Two sort of battlefields, um, typical sort of trenches and Normandy landings. And I know D-Day was a while ago, but as I mentioned before, uh, I'm going with Oliver, who did um, for his final year at school. He was doing history. He loves it. He really wants to go. Uh, Matthew, when he was at school, he did history, and they used to do a trip, and they used to take them to the battlefields, but they don't do it anymore. He kind of missed out on that. So I'm going to bravely volunteered to go and have a few days off. <laughs> so that should be good. Do you ever get the feeling you're going in circles? And you're not too sure how far you've gone or if you've gone the right way. You know when people get lost and they, they think they're walking out in the jungle or the desert or wherever it might be. And, and what you find is they've just walked in a big circle. I kind of got that feeling. Do you know... I've never noticed that before. I'm just sat here and I'm looking into the cellar. And look at that. Never noticed. This kind of bordered wallpaper and floral design. So when you open the door, you look at that instead of a, a wall. Huh. Okay, do you get the feeling that I'm talking because I don't want to do that? Yes. So many people say that. <laughs> you waffle! I know. That's when I don't want to do something. So anyway, let me tell you another story. Oh no. I've 
just painted over my list of things I have to do. I guess that means I'm finished. No, don't worry, I took a picture. I took a picture, unfortunately, which means that they, all those jobs are still waiting for me. Anyway, back to watching paint dry. will do. Oh, 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 oh get it. Let's put it at God's sake. Ridiculous. We've got a lot to tidy up. Well, we've kind of given it a first coat. It again, these sort of things transform a room. Um, I've got to guess what? I've got to be somewhere else. Yeah. So I haven't got around to doing the electrics yet. Yeah. Um, oh, I've missed a massive piece of the wall out. Oh well. I've got to tidy up. I've got to sweep up, clean up because I've made a hell of a mess um, and get stuff sorted. So I'm going to do that. You can watch and then I will see you tomorrow as we escape to the dream house. See you there. Started today with doing oh, the scratch off and try and do the painting a bit and what have you. And I was sweating buckets. I've just tidied up. I seem to spend my most of my day tidying up. It's ridiculous. Anyway, tidied up again and. I'm sweating buckets again. So there we go. Anyway, I'm out of here now. Definitely out of here. I kept saying it a few times. Oh, but that's me done. What I was thinking is whilst I'm away, I'm going to try and, uh, as well as putting the daily one, um, which obviously will run out, I'm going to um, 
try and do some, forget chance, some recaps to see the transformation that we've had. Because it is pretty cool, really. Not there yet, obviously, but I might just do a bit as to how far I've gone so far. So you can have that. And there'll also be one where if you're ever thinking, what the hell does Nigel do? You know, what's he thinking whilst he's doing it? Uh, I'll tell you a little bit more about that and you'll probably wish you'd never asked the question because all sorts of random nonsense goes through my head. I don't listen to music. I don't listen to podcasts or books or anything like that. So it's just me and my thoughts, which is a fantastic, scary, exciting, amazing place to be, me with my thoughts. Anyway, I'm going to share some of those as well. So hopefully the big stuff when I'm away, I've got, I'm coming in uh, tomorrow uh, and I'll do the electrics because I've sort of done painting at the moment. I'm going to do some electrics, try and get these lights working and the sockets upstairs and there you go. But we'll try and cobble together a few. So, you know, for those of you that need the old fix of the daily escape to the dream house and bestie, then hopefully we'll do it for you. Whew. Right. I'm out of here. And I will see you again very soon, twice on one episode, I think, as we continue to escape to the dream house. Special long one, just for you. See you soon.